So this next question is a very, very common question by, by numerous, numerous people um, about pain during the surgery itself. Um, I'm going to tell you that, that it, it is a little bit variable in terms of discomfort during liposuction surgery. Um, I've done this for 20 years and I'm very, very gentle how I go about approaching it, putting in the fluid, using the wall, um, and during the liposuction surgery itself, removing the fat. Putting the fluid with the wall generally feels like a pinching under the skin. Um, that is quite tolerable by most patients. Some patients, I will be honest, have a little bit of a harder time as gentle as I am putting that fluid in using the wall. And I will say that in those patients, um, they tend to be more fibrotic. There's more of a dense connected tissue in their fat layer also. Um, typically during surgery, what I do, and I do it in a surgical center, is, is patients get some volume sublingually under the tongue before the surgery, which takes the edge off of things because most people are nervous, and most people afterwards say it wasn't as bad as they thought it was going to be. During the procedure itself, I can give sedating medications, and sometimes I will use things like Versed in low dosages, and even fentanyl, which is an opioid for pain, for pain relief if needed. Um, that is my preferred approach in every patient. Uh, an important factor is that I don't like patients completely unconscious because it begins to affect the ability to get as perfect of a result as possible from a positioning standpoint. Liposuction is a different sort of surgery. It's not a cutting and sewing surgery. It is a precise contouring and sculpting procedure, and you're doing areas in the patient's patients like the, 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 the calf and ankle area. That positioning is hugely important. So I don't prefer patients being under general anesthesia primarily for that reason. Now, there's a discussion about, about twilight um, uh, in the community a lot, and, and I have begun to, to use twilight in more patients that desire it. And that decision that has to be made before the surgery, and I do offer it for patients. With Twilight, what I am doing, the way I utilize it, is I have an anesthesiologist that is doing the Twilight because it is a deeper level of sedation. It's conscious sedation where the patient is in a, in a, in a more twilight place. And using medications like propofol, which should not be done without an anesthesiologist and proper monitoring and all that stuff. So in those cases that are done under Twilight, an anesthesiologist, usually Dr. Mendelssohn, who I use and work very closely with, takes the patient into a deeper level of sedation while I'm putting a fluid in with the wall. So they're basically out of it while I'm doing that part of it, which is the uncomfortable part. And then what we do is we lighten the patient up during the liposuction itself so that they're able to move in precise position so that I can get as perfect a result as I would with a completely conscious patient. So, so I guess I'm proud to say that I offer it to patients. Um, I'm doing it about 10 or 15 percent of patients now. Um, I don't want every patient to think that they absolutely should just be doing twilight, but if you feel you're very concerned about discomfort and you want a less uncomfortable procedure, then twilight is available. Why do we get pain with lipedema? Well, lipedema is a fat storage disease. Um, as many of you know, uh, in, in certain areas, the calves and ankles, circumferential thighs, the arms many times. But this is the important thing. It's, it's an inflammatory fat storage disease. There is inflammation in the tissue. We, we know this. Um, and that inflammation around the fat cells, in, the, in, in the, what we'll call the stroma, the connective tissue around the fat, does a number of things. It affects the blood vessels and causes easy bruisability. It causes leakiness of the lymphatics and swelling. Uh, and it causes fibrosis. Fibrosis is chronic inflammation and the development of uh, increased connective tissue and almost scar-like tissue. And that, that causes the pain from lipedema. Um, you know, when I do liposuction surgery, uh, one of the beauties is that you're not only removing fat, but you are breaking up, if it's done properly, that scar-like fibrotic tissue and, and restructuring and remodeling the subcutaneous layer of fat and what it does is it, it, it greatly decongests uh, the lymphatics and, and improves all the swelling. But along with that goes the reduction in the pain too by removing that uh, inflamed um, fibrotic tissue.